Hello everyone, welcome back. I would like to share a new recent bag purchase. The bag is from Satchel. The style is called Large Carry. So I will talk about the price, um, show you what the design looks like and what fits in the bag and also some modeling shot. So first, uh, the reason why I decide to pick this up I actually found it um, on BST Facebook groups. I picked it up because I always want to try this style. I believe it is actually very similar to Rough and Tumble Breeze. I have seen people comparing Satchel Large Carry with a Rough and Tumble Breeze um, in the Rough and Tumble Facebook group. So that's how I knew this style would be very similar to another bag I was also curious about the size and how it looks on me so the leather of this one particular one is called Spanish Spanish moss it is a very interesting color it it's like a combination of green brown and black so it's very sophisticated and it would match with so many outfits so first let me talk about the price uh, this bag retails for $160 without a strap so if you just want to pick this up as a like a large maybe a large clutch you can do that uh, the one I have can attach crossbody strap so it comes like with like a tiny leather tab to attach the strap but I added a d-ring so it will be easier to remove and add strap the base price is $160 if you want a crossbody strap. So this is the crossbody strap came with the bag. It's a fixed length strap. So if I can make a rec recommendation, I think these type of bags need to come with a adjustable strap to adjust the height for different people. So this strap, they charge $44. Um, it's a little bit steep, but so if you want to use your own strap, you can definitely do that. And I believe if you really email them, you can probably get an adjustable strap, but for a different price point, probably more expensive. So overall, if you want to get this bag from the website, just the bag and the strap, it will be about $200 plus tax and shipping, all that. I think the price point is pretty decent for the size of the bag. Uh, this bag, rough tumble charge about $350. So the satchel is a um, relatively more affordable choice for me. That's why I decided to win with it. And as you can see, this bag did not have any outside pocket. Uh, I would wish they have a pocket, but I think it's okay if they don't have it. The inside is fabric lining. So you can, if you customize it, you can choose the lining wherever you want. And one side that has this satchel branding, it's actually a really shallow pocket, but I think you can at least put your card, like credit card inside, or maybe uh, keys, so you can easily assess your keys. The other side has uh, also a pretty shallow pocket, but slightly larger than the, than the leather one, so you can put a wallet or something you need to uh, access right away. Besides the two pocket, it's just one big compartment. I think one thing I like about this bag is you can always go with fun lining. So you can have a neutral color outside so you can use it for casual or formal events. But the inside is very fun and you can pick pop up color if you want. So this is pretty much all the functionality of the bag. So the dimension is about 13 by 9 and 4 inches in width. So it is definitely a good size bag. And I will show you as you can see how it looks on my body. But now let me show you what fits inside. So you know I carry a large water bottle, 17 ounce. And it actually fits inside the bag. Like extremely comfortably. So for me, this is a full size bag for me. Any bag fits my water bottle is considered a big bag and my pouch that has everything like all the makeup all the like tissue packs everything i need 
I love that for this bag, I don't need to take individual items out. I can just put the whole thing inside. And let's say I have a wallet, maybe gloves. Right now it's still winter, a car case, my car keys. So this is everything and you can, I can still fit maybe a pair of sunglasses on top of everything. Let me zip it up. Because the leather is soft, you have more, it has more give, like you can fit a lot more than you would think. But of course, you can see the shape of the bag uh, is not perfectly. It, you can kind of see the item a little bit. So re realistically, I don't need to carry um, that much stuff on a daily basis. So this strap, uh, I got it from a different bag actually. And it, I think it matched really well with this one. So I just at attach it. And you can see the D-ring I add makes it easier to attach strap. And I can attach any strap, not just satchel strap. Let me show you how it looks on me. Um, I prefer to wear it as um, shoulder bag because I really like the drape of the bag. You can see better. But realistically, I wouldn't put this much stuff. But it kind of ruined the drape of the bag. Let me take this water bottle out. Because realistically, I don't need to carry. Okay. Okay. So this is how it looks. I think it's not very bulky. Because it's not like a super wide bag here. So it doesn't feel like the bag is bulging out too much. It's still pretty close to the body. And you can see it is definitely a good size bag. So if I adjust my crossbody strap, um, or let me show you how it looks with the original strap. This I believe is the standard one. If you want to order from the website, you can add this. And the clasp is so small compared to the one I have. Like you can see the clasps I have and the clasp I have from Rough and Tough. It's like so tiny. So this is the strap it came with the bag and it is not adjustable. Just keep that in mind. So I think it works for me as a long shoulder bag and I can always just keep the strap up if you want to change to a short shoulder bag and if I want to wear it as crossbody this strap actually works for me and in, it's actually perfect for my personal preference I like a shorter um, crossbody but if you like a longer one you can always change to a different strap and this is how it looks so personally, uh, if you are curious about rough and tumble breeze, if you are curious about central large carry, I think the price point is really good for that brand because this uh, bag is relatively affordable uh, for those two brands and you can see it fits quite a lot. So if you are looking for a good size crossbody bag, I will highly recommend this. And if I can make suggestion, I would definitely suggest they add um, D-rings to attach the strap so you can easily switch out strap and not worry about the, the strap hardware, whether it will fit into that little leather tab. And if they can add an outside pocket, that would be amazing. If they can make the strap adjustable, that would be fabulous. But overall, I really like the bag and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.